Hey, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining. We're back with another game preview for you today, and we're checking out Weaving Tides coming out for the PC on Steam and the Nintendo Switch, which is what I'll be checking out for you today. It's out on May 27th, which should be when this video goes live on my channel. Weaving Tides is described to be a cozy adventure game that is about this world filled with magic and made up of textile, which sounds super intriguing to me. Basically, you befriend these dragons that help you out along the way as you unravel the mysteries and help patch up this magical world. The creators have mentioned that they were inspired by games like Legend of Zelda and Bastion, and from what I've seen so far, I think that if you like those games, you may be interested in Weaving Tides as well. The gameplay and art style is beautiful, and the music is so relaxing. And a huge thank you to Cartivo for reaching out and letting me try your game. I can't wait to check out all your other games in 2021 and beyond. I hope you guys like this one as well. So definitely drop a like down below if you would like to see more videos and leave a comment. Let me know if you're planning on picking up this game. It actually just finished downloading so I can't wait to jump right in. What do you guys think of my new webcam layout by the way? <laughs> the Weaving Tides Adventure Playgrounds. I guess we'll jump into Adventure, yeah. Do a new game. The Silken Desert, Chapter 1. So we're jumping right into the game here. So we're meeting Killim. There you are, do you have everything? Has. That's our character. I do, I do. I got the crafting kit, my flute, the bag, and the socks. Nope, socks, Dad. Dad? Wait a second. I have so many questions already. Okay. Fine, hop on. Neri and her husband need us to patch up some of their farming plots back at the village. That folded and off we go. This is so pretty right away. Oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful. Just off the bat. Okay, I this I always do this. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet and I'm already so excited, but okay. We dive. Okay, so we can dive through like the woven part here. Um. Oh, what did I do? Oh, he's stuck. Bathra, Taz, my boy, come over later so we can keep working on those flutes we drilled yesterday. Neri, oh, our little bean is already flapping her wings. There's no doubt about it, she's going to become a marvelous young woman. Ah, oh, hello, Killim, thanks for coming by so fast. No problem. And you brought my buddy Taz. Hi, Pomerov. Wow, you're getting taller by the day. You'll need to grow some wings of your own soon. Your dad, your old dad won't be able to carry you much longer. So, okay, so they can transform into the dragons or... Don't mind him kill him, as you're well aware our family's going to grow out of this cozy home sooner rather than later. We need to extend our house into the fields, but first we need to get all these tears and rips fixed. I know this is your specialty, so would you mind patching them up for us? You can keep any thread essence you come across in the process. We'll get right to it. Okay. Is there anything I can grab here? Oh, here we go. To stitch a rip, we need to descend on one side of the rip and descend on the opposite side. Remember, bigger rips need more stitches to fully close. Okay. And then go up the other side. Ah! Oh! Okay! Is that enough for it? Okay. Special ability, is that all? 
Okay. What is that? Okay. It's bigger surface area because it wasn't enough just doing one of it. Hey. This is fun. Done and done. Neri and Kamara will be so pleased now they've got space for, oh, another 20 children at least. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful together? They do look like a perfect little family, but I can't help wondering if my parents would even recognize me if they saw me now. When you were just a wee baby, you could cry louder than anything I've ever heard. Nobody could forget that. But I'm sure they would have loved you just as much as I do. Aww, so, okay. Who knows, if only I could ask them myself. No. So, Taz, it seems, was adopted by um, these creatures. What was that? No idea, but there seems to be some kind of ruckus back in the village. Let's take a look. Oh no! I hope everything's okay. Found some threads here. Oh no, what happened? Wait, what's going on here? Hopefully they're attacking the village. Okay, what do I do here? Shred, hop on my back, I can lift one or two more folks. They're not interested in us, they're headed for your tent. Seek out the seer of Laria. Laria? Um, she might know what to do. Now go, we can handle this. Oh man, oh, okay, this is, uh, what's going on? I'm taking damage. But I don't really... I'm not sure how I could have, um... Pass that. It's not the right way. Okay. Okay, there is a part here. I will take these. Thank you. Okay. Oh, our hearts are full. Okay. So they were after our tent specifically. I wonder why that is. Okay, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Those things back there, why did they attack us and how come they look so much like you? I honestly don't know. In all my journeys, I never came across weavers like these. So they're called uh, weavers. Something about them felt very off. Let's just hope all the villagers are safe. What should we do now? For now, we should do as Komarov said and visit the seer. Larea should be close by. We only need to follow the path ahead of us. Okay. I am already so invested in the story. <laughs> I need to know what is going on. Okay, let's do these. and pick up some threads. I didn't quite understand. What did we need the thread for? Do we use up the thread every time we um, fix up the paths or? Let's see. Here we go. Okay, sorry, I'm still getting used to the controls guys, so. Up here? Those little beasts look fierce. Do you think we can stitch them down with your ribbon? We sure can. If we send them with a dash, it's even easier to tie them up. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ah, okay. Oh, there's two here. Uh, 
How do we time? There we go. That's a little um, challenging, actually. Let's see if we can... Time down, there we go. I'm sure we'll get used to it soon. Hopefully. <laughs> That's tough. Uh oh. This is kind of tough, actually. Hmm. Can you just skip past them? <laughs> Let's see. A shattered heart. Collect four fragments to gain an, an additional heart container. Okay. I can use one of those. But I really want to um, learn how to put these guys down quicker. We'll get the hang of it. There we go. There we go. Can use that heart. And then we can go this way. What are these? Okay. There we go. Okay. I think we're getting the hang of it. Ability ZL. Right. Yep. I'll do it over here. Oh, oh no, okay. There we go. Oh, there's some of them underneath as well. It's not just at the top. Okay. Let's try to get this guy, maybe. Or is he trapped down there because I sealed it up? Maybe. Oh, he's here. Special ability. Can I use it right now? How do I use it? How do I know when I can use my special ability or not? This is so relaxing. <laughs> I've never played anything like it. Okay, hopefully another heart container? No? Something else? Orange ribbon. A simple orange ribbon can be used in the playgrounds mode. Wonder if we can find anything hidden here or not. So I can dash through these sort of plants too and find stuff in it. Okay, where to now? So let's go back here. See if we missed anything. This is where we came from. Oh, did we go here yet? No, this is where we came from, wasn't it? Oh, there's something up here. No. Oh, look, there's some thorny stuff. I bet we can't burst through that. So it looks like our special ability we can use by filling up the that bar there on the side or the ring. Let's go this 
way. Okay, someone already tried to stitch this pattern. Man, they did a really bad job. It's no big deal. We can destroy stitches by dashing through them. We only have to connect dots of the pattern correctly to move forward. Okay. So it's a cross pattern instead of square. Right, 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 right. We got this. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, we were smarter than whoever was here first. So I just noticed these little flags or these checkpoints are. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks to be. I got him for sure. Got that. Here. Oh, this is tough when they're moving around, hey? Where's the other guy? There's four of them. Oh, that was so close. No, I'm not. I'm doing such a bad job right now. Oh, I didn't get him. Here we go. This is tough. that enough? Okay. What did we get? We got dash focus. Allows the bear to dash in fast succession. Okay. Open the options. So looks like we can equip this also. Cool. Fast stitch, um, and then now we can also do dash focus. But these are our flutes. We call kill him and our collection of stuff. These are the ribbon patterns that we have. <laughs> Some random pair of socks. Okay, let's keep going. This thing? Oh, nope, it didn't need to be underneath. <laughs> I wonder if there's um, any hidden treasures on first impressions, you guys. I mean, I am so intrigued about the storyline already. We've only played this for a few minutes, but I can't wait to find out what those things were that attacked the village and why they're targeting kill him and speaking of there we are so this is Lorea. it looks lively indeed it seems like they are getting ready for the upcoming festival now you go ahead and look for the seer i'll wait for you you won't come with me no but i'll stay close by and as far as um 
the creator is saying that they were inspired by Bastion and Zelda, I think that it's very apparent with the isometric type of adventure and also just the graphics. But even just the characters too, like the character sprites, I think very, very enjoyable so far. Miley, or Mealy, I really hope I'm saying all these names right. <laughs> I heard that there is a giant bathhouse down the Empire. At least two dozen people are tasked to keep the pools filled with water at all times. I hope I'll get to see it with my own eyes someday. Hmm. Bathhouse reminds me of Spirited Away. Did you Ghibli film? Hi there, I'm looking for the seer. Salas. Wrong address, kid. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you know where I could find her? Perhaps, but I sell goods, not information. For a shop, this looks pretty empty to me. You don't say. Since the path to the tidal vortex was close, I haven't been able to restock. There are only some shelf warmers left. <clears throat> So it seems like something's happening in their world that obviously is causing everything to go awry. Take a look around, don't expect a discount for them though. Fair enough. Let's see what the merchant has. So here's a stitching move. I only have 105 of whatever their currency is. I'm not sure what it's called. Ambitious sewing emblem. Slightly increases the refill rate of stitching moves through regular stitching. Essence focus attracts floating thread essence in a large radius. Um, and a shattered heart, which I would love to get, but I don't have enough, enough of. So, you won't find better items anywhere in this desert than here. Well, it's also the only option available. Fair enough. I don't know what I need yet, so I think I'm just going to keep exploring for now. Who's this guy? Patchy. There was an attack on Vettery. What should we do if they come for us as well? Oh. Your city seems to be a bit bigger. <laughs> Hopefully you have um, better sort of security, sir. Uh, Poro. The merchant has been in town for a while now. It's curious because usually he only stays for a day or two. I'm too afraid to ask him about it since he always wears such a scary expression. He does seem intimidating. Let's chat with these guys. They all have wings. They're like little fairy guys. Samia, I'm so looking forward to the festival. Cynthia, I don't know. I heard some scary things happen at Vettery. Will there even be a festival this year, Mum? Mency, of course, my dear, we cannot stand down on our traditions because of an unknown threat. Especially now we should celebrate to earn the blessings of our goddess. You're probably right. Hey, do you know about the seer? Mori says, yes, so they like to call me. But you're barely my age. I am and my memory span over 20 lifetimes. This is the seer. Mori. Well then, you must be here to learn about the dark shadows, which chase your kind. Yes, they suddenly appeared and... Wait, my kind? My friend, you're not a moth, and obviously not much of a weaver either. So they're moth people. <laughs> I think I always knew, but what am I? If you know something, please tell me. Very well. I recall memories of a wingless woman fleeing from her dark pursuers and stumbling through the thickets of spun forests. Of the spun forests. There's no telling how long ago this happened or if she is still there to be found. If you wish to know more, you will have to travel further into the depths of this world. Down? But how? The tunnel vortex leads down to the spun forests. It is sealed, though. To unlock it, you must seek the aid of an entity who goes by the name of Twill. You should find her somewhere by the temple ruins to the east. So we gotta find someone else. <laughs> now go, and tell her to come pick up her trash from my tent. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, off to... 
the spun forests. So Killam's here, but I just want to explore a little more if there's anything else. And I'm wondering if we should pick up something from the shop, but just... We don't have that much funds. What did we get here? A blue ribbon. Can be used in playgrounds mode. Really curious about that, but I think for um, our preview today, we'll just stick with... Ooh, nice big tent here. Is there any anything I can grab? No. <laughs> yeah, for our preview, we'll just stick with the adventure mode. And then if you guys are curious about the other modes of this game or would like me to play through more of it, please let me know in the comments. You know, so far, really enjoying my time. This is my kind of game. I mean, kill him. And how did it go? We need to head to the temple ruins to find somebody named Twill. Apparently she can help us. Don't we have any other options? Hmm? Why? Oh, I guess not. What's wrong with the plan? Never mind, I just like to have options. I feel you, kill him. <laughs> if I could find some sort of disguise, it might not be that bad. Ooh. So Killam is afraid to go wherever they're going. Mm -hmm. Get out! Oh, we can pat our dragons! Oh, oh he doesn't like the brushing? He doesn't like the brushing, but he was liking the pats. Wait, hand. There we go. He likes the pats. Wait, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I want to go back. Oh, see, it's really, really easy to, you know. We'll pet the wing as well. Maybe he wants the brush. Ah, oh, man, that's what life is all about. What was I doing all those years before I found you? So cute. Oh, was I kicked out? So cute. Oh, he doesn't, he really doesn't like the, 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 the brush, I'm sorry. <laughs> but any game that lets you um, do this, kind of like a Nintendogs type of thing, like a pet simulation thing. I am so happy. <laughs> there we go. Let's just max this out. If only we had some ribbon candy, now life would be perfect. Mm -mm. I wonder what ribbon candy is. Okay, I think we can probably get going. Should I grab any of those ribbons? Maybe not for now. That's okay. We could find some sort of disguise. Do I need to find that disguise for him? Not sure. <laughs> we'll keep going for now. We'll just wing it. <laughs> oh, there's more people here. <gasps> what is that? Shepherd Bow. Dear me, I forgot to tie my woolies to the ground as... And as soon as I turned my back, they flew off, dragging their leashes after them. I need to get them back to their pen before dusk, but chasing them exhausted me. Do you perhaps pull them down for me and tie them up? I'll reward you for it. How do I do that? Well, they're here. But... How do I grab them? What kind of... Okay. Was it... Uh, did I do that right? Okay, I think so. <laughs> that scared me. I thought that I, like, I heard it. Kind of like the beast. Okay, we're getting the hang of it. 
Let's go. Got him. Another one here. This is so cute. I get too excited, like mm, almost trigger happy with buttons, that it's not all that accurate when I do it, you know? I think that's all the. Did you call all them woolies? Yeah. Let's go and see if he needs anything else. You gathered my herd, thank you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. What we get? Wow, okay. Lots and lots of thread. Oh, that's the money stuff. I wish... Is it just called thread? <laughs> Such a silly question, but... We're almost at 150. I would love to get something from the shop when we get back from the forest. And I'd also really like to expand our heart containers, but that's okay. Let's see this guy. No? Okay. There's another one here. Are we strong enough to stun him? Okay. Oh. He needs two twirls. Okay. Doesn't seem like we're getting- oh! He spits! Doesn't seem like we're getting something like, uh, experience points whenever we get these monsters, but there's more woolies here. Are they good? Can we go there? No. Doesn't seem like we can. They did say, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going the right way, but they just said that it's in the east, so hopefully we are going the right way. This is so satisfying. So when I was younger, I actually was really into embroidery. <laughs> so this really reminds me of that quite a bit. I'm sure that some of you might know if you also embroider or like hand sew in any way, you know how satisfying it also is, so. Did that work? <gasps> Oopsies. My mistake. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? I don't know if I did that right. I would love some hearts right about now. There we go. I can do this right, so... Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, let's see. What does it need? Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. Okay. <gasps> well, at least we got that right. Let's try to find some parts. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. 
What is over this way, though? Is there anything? We come from here. Oh, it looks like we came from here earlier. Is there some um, thread? Let's go here. What is this? Hmm. What is this? Oh, we're meant to pull it. Even a soft world may pose harsh trials, whatever may come. Look ahead and see the weaving mother smile upon you. Mm. Yes, thank you. A shattered heart. We just need two more fragments. I guess we do go this way. I thought... I don't think that there's any sort of map that we can pull up, but this looks like we've been through here before. Oh, we did too. Okay. Um, well, I suppose we can try heading more east. Oh! Nope. We can try heading more east since that's where they said the forest will be. I'm pretty happy with how abundant the hearts seem to be. Because, <laughs> as you can see, I need a lot of it. Thank you. Let's fly over. Let's see. Oh, oh my, my. Okay. I'm just not careful. <laughs> Try to do our special move here. Now I to sew these up too. Alright. Let's go this way first. Lots of thread over here. What is this? There's something that looks like sparkling here. Such as that. Ah, okay, there we go. Good to know. This is what I love about trying out new games though, because it's so unfamiliar. Um, I just, I feel more sort of eager to explore it and learn about the world, whereas um, I still do in like franchises that I know about, but I feel like I do it more, I feel like I do it more when it's games that I've never tried before. Autumn. And it's so always so cool sort of learning about games and even creators and developers, publishers, all of that, all of the above, <laughs> all the groups of people that make a game possible. It's cool learning about new ones and especially indie developers and being able to support them as well because let's get this guy. Gotcha! Okay. A lot of um, games that I'm really into these days are indie games. Oh, no. <laughs> because as much as I love the big studio titles, um, there's just so much more charm a lot of the times with indie games because you can see like the care and how close it is to the creators. Um, I am buzzing. Ooh, there's a chest here. How do I get back there? How do we get back there? 
their way to. Doesn't look like I can get past the trees. Oh. Oh, a big puzzle. And some woolies. Okay, how do we know? This looks like it's gonna be a it looks like a triforce. <laughs> I think we'll just go for it. Oh! Are these guys chewing through it? Wait, I'm really confused. Hold on. How do I do this? Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I just figured out something and <laughs> I definitely wasn't thinking. I was just kind of trying to wing the puzzles based on the formation of the rings, but I just realized that if you go to the curtain that it actually opens, you can see <laughs> the pattern that it's supposed to be. <laughs> Please don't make the same mistake that I did. That is, that's just, you know, that's a little sad, but that's okay. We learn from our mistakes. Oh, I did not mean to go that far. Okay. Nope. So as you can see, I'm just following the pattern of um, how that looks at the top there with the curtains, so. Oh my goodness. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Please don't make the same mistake that I did. Woolies, go have fun. Have a feast with my ribbons now that I'm done. <laughs> but... Pro gamers hip. <laughs> Just look at the curtains to find out what you need to sew on the rings. But you probably already figured that out before I did. Hmm. That's, that's what happens when... I get too invested in the game. I like get really bad tunnel vision sometimes and just focus on what's in front of me instead of looking around me and seeing, you know, what in the environment might be able to help with whatever I'm solving. So right. now we know. This looks like what is this? Someone's been here. Can I weave through this as well? So I was able to remove the stuff that was around. Huh? Hey there, we're looking for somebody. There's another weaver there. Kill him! You show your face here? What? Val, well, leave me alone. Oh no, what was that? It's who we're looking for, 12. You know her? We were friends a long time ago, though it looks like she hasn't forgotten her grudge against me. I'm sorry this might become a bit more difficult than you envisioned. If she was your friend, she must be nice after all. We should go find her. <laughs> okay. So the purple ribbons are hers. She's nice. She was. It looks like she was trying to fix up or patch these up as well. That means she's nice, I think. Let's pull that open. Oh. Ah. Where do we? Do we just tie it down? Then? Yeah, this. Wait a second. But I just need to tie it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll do this too. We don't know which side she went to. I don't think. Let's go down here for now. Oh, lots of boxes here. Hopefully we can get a full heart container, finally. It's just a 
fix this up as we go. Get that. Get that. Oh, one more. There we go. Oh, yes. We just need one more Shattered Heart. Um, but that makes me want to go back out here for a second because there was this one. Does this have anything on? It does, okay. Oh. Um, okay, well, let's go down here for now, I guess. Because that might have been, that might be where she actually ran to, Twill. Oh my goodness. Not cool. Oh. And we got a neutral ribbon. Getting some different patterns here, which is pretty cool. Anything else around here? One more of these guys. What is that? A key piece. One piece of an intricate hoop key. Collect four parts to complete it. That's the very first one. Let's go this way. We need to be careful with these thorns because definitely not that careful. What is that? What is that? Hello? Oh, that's a beast. I definitely just freed some more, didn't I? Yep. Trying to get that big guy. Miss that. Lots and lots of thread. Thank you. I will take all of that. Until the end of all days, we will embrace our protector who spun our homelands and granted us shelter. Soto? Yeah. Hmm. Can we go down here? No. Doesn't look like there's enough space, but I do want to see what that long sort of hallway is about. But can we get anything from here? Oh, there's another statue. Amidst the dark waves, um, the goddess arose to create the weavers. Okay. We'll go back here for a second and see what that long hallway was. Maybe we'll find Will there. <laughs> but Ilim was right. He should have used the disguise, it seems. <laughs> Whatever this is. Oh, it is a box. Nope! Oh no 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 no. He got me twice. There we go. Let's find out what's in this box. 
Looks like a big box, doesn't it? Is this part of the key? Perfect. Yes. That looks like part of it, doesn't it? Oh, that's the key that I'm building. There's so many... Okay, so that's just a one-way thing. This guy... Not fair. He was... <laughs> I couldn't reach him up there. Here we go. Another key? No? How many more pieces? I think we need two more pieces. And... Okay, we can only go one way. Those curtains. So, we should be able to... I think there's another way here, yep. Okay. Pattern. What are these? Bring these down. I don't know if we need them, or how we need them, but I'm just gonna assume we need them down. Is that the way that we should be sewing? <laughs> we can try. This to that. Yes! Okay, we're getting the hang of it. That's so exciting. Oh. Okay, 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 we can do this. Just gotta be quick. One down. I think that other guy isn't at the top, so we should be able to... yeah. Got him. And this one guy. There we go. Perfect. Another box. Hopefully another piece of the key. Yes. And we just need one more. One more to go. We're doing pretty good progress. What do you guys think? where we came from and then where else do we need to be I think this part is done because we were already sent back to the same sort of area but I wonder where we get the top let's try to go back to where was that spot was it back here Ooh, I don't remember now. Where it sort of ended. Was it here? Yeah, there was. Oh, we missed a statue here. In the beginning, we stumbled lost and defenseless through a never ending ocean of menace. Okay, I think they're just trying to tell us the story. Okay. We just needed to burst through. <laughs> hey, this is my stuff you're messing with. I'm the only one who's allowed to wreck it. So already twelve, we just came here to talk to you. Please don't run away again. Oh, what a curious creature. I like your feet. <laughs> Thanks, I like your scarf. It is a cool scarf. Haha, <laughs> you do? Okay, there was something you wanted from me. We want to travel to the Spun Forests, and Mori told me that you can open the path to the Tidal Vortex for us. 
She also mentioned something about trash in her tent. <laughs> so will you help us? Please. If you help me, first I've got a little challenge for you. Of course you do. Twelve. You look fairly witty to me. I don't know about that. It took me a second to find out about the curtains. <laughs> the pattern on the curtains. So <laughs> solve this puzzle before I say stop. It's easy. Ready? Go. Okay, I think that I'm going to stop right here though, or pause right here, at least for our first hour preview of the gameplay. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I had a great time. I had zero sort of expectations coming into this game. I saw a little bit of the trailer, but usually when I'm trying out brand new games, I try not to look into it too much just because I love experiencing the game firsthand and finding out more about it and not having any spoilers basically so i really had a great time i'm definitely going to be playing this after um, recording because i want to find out more about their story it's really really intriguing and i want to know more about taz as well where he came from and what's up with all the monsters that kind of looks like kill him but were attacking their kind. I love the relaxed nature of it and you know they weren't kidding when they said that it's a cozy adventure game because it is still it has enough action without it being too stressful. <laughs> Nothing like a Breath of the Wild type of battle system where you're you know running away from a Lionel <laughs> and fearing for your life. This is just you're battling but it feels very relaxed. The world is beautiful. I love the sort of neutral earthy tones. It is definitely very cozy in environment wise but also the music and with the characters so far I'm really enjoying their designs. Thank you again to Crytivo for letting me try out your game. They have a few more coming out this year and in the future that I can't wait to share with you guys so I'm not sure if they will be seeing this through to the end but congrats on the release of your game. If you guys enjoyed or would like to see more, definitely leave a like down below as it really does help this channel out and also comment what you think so far if you're going to be picking this up or you would like to see more of the story. Maybe we can do a couple more episodes to give you a better idea of the game. But again, I will be definitely playing this after I finish recording. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have an amazing day. <laughs>